I recently discovered ChatGPT. Um, I was turned on to it because the founder and CEO, Sam Altman, was just in Israel as part of his Mideast uh, swing after touring Europe. Uh, he was in Israel, Jordan, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates. And um, he was right down the street here at Tel Aviv University as well, touting open AI. And I was a little skeptical at first, but um, I'm pretty sold actually, and I'll tell you why. But first, a little bit about Sam Altman, as I'm sure you know, I have a bit of an affinity with him. Um, he's um, 38, he was born in 1985 in Chicago to uh, Jewish parents, to his mother and father are both Jewish, um, Ashkenazi, and he is uh, grew up in St. Louis. Um, so he's sort of like a typical Ashkenazi American like me, and uh, although he's a multi-millionaire, <laughs> And uh, I'm not. <laughs> but other than that, we are uh, we have a lot of similarities. Um, so I, uh, when I found out he was going to be in Israel, I decided to uh, join uh, Chat GPT and see what all the buzz is about. So I decided to uh, ask my first question. And obviously, um, I made this video to explore uh, DNA and genetics and Jewish ancestry. And so obviously, I'm interested in Ashkenazi DNA and ancestry. So my first question was. Uh, to pose to chat, chat GPT was what is the DNA of Ashkenazi Jews and I just want to read the answer because I think it's amazing uh, it's my first encounter with OpenAI like I said and I believe it's an absolute game changer um, now that it could produce this sophisticated an answer in a split second is is scary it's simply scary it's amazing um, now is everything completely accurate uh, no but it shows a certain level of a, a being a very intuitive and, uh, and learning, and um, and the, uh, it's a very nuanced response, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read you it, um, and, and very unbiased too, I believe. There's I don't believe that there's bias in this answer. Um, so here's the answer: the DNA of Ashkenazi Jews, who are traditionally associated with Central and Eastern Europe, exhibits distinct genetic characteristics that have been studied extensively in recent years. Ashkenazi Jews have a complex genetic background resulting from a combination of several factors, including both their Near Eastern origins and admixture with local European populations. Studies examining the genetic ancestry of Ashkenazi Jews have found that they share a common genetic heritage with other Jewish populations, um, tracing their origins back to the ancient Israelites of the Levant. However, over the centuries, Ashkenazi Jews have undergone significant genetic mixing with local non-Jewish European populations. One of the most well-known genetic studies of Ashkenazi Jews was conducted in 2010 by the Ashkenazi Genome Consorti Consortium. This research revealed that Ashkenazi Jews possess a high degree of genetic relatedness, suggesting that they descend from a relatively small founding population. It is also found that the genetic structure of Ashkenazi Jews is consistent with a mix of Middle Eastern, predominantly Levantine, and European ancestry. In addition to this Middle Eastern genetic uh, component, studies have identified varying levels of admixture with European populations, particularly with groups from the Caucasus and Southern Europe. Um, now I'm just gonna pause there. Um, at least for my studies and research, I believe that there's more Southern European than any kind of Caucasus related ancestry. Um, and that, show, that shows in the admixture calculators and, and genetic studies, um, which is why Ashkenazi Jews are, are close to mixed Mediterranean populations like Southern Italians, Sicilians, Greek Islanders, um, and Maltese. Um, so these interactions, and, and I believe that they will refine these, uh, these answers as more information comes out. Um, it's, again, it's very intuitive. So I'm gonna continue. Uh, these interactions with local European populations likely occurred during, during the migration of Ashkenazi Jews into Central and Eastern Europe during the medieval period. It's important to note that genetic diversity exists with any population, including Ashkenazi Jews. Therefore, while there are common genetic signatures among Ashkenazi Jews, there is also individual variation. Furthermore, genetic ancestry is just one aspect of Jewish identity and culture. Um, and, and cultural and religious practices play a significant role in defining Jewish communities. Um, again, it's this is very intuitive. You know, it's it's got a certain sensitivity. It's telling you saying that you know DNA is not 
um, you know, it's one factor. It's not the determining factor of who's Jewish, uh, etc. There's there's other factors involved that are very important, um, including culture, religious, um, those kinds of things, um, and just a sense of community. So, and the last paragraph here. Please keep in mind that our understanding of human genetics is continuously evolving, and new research may provide further insights into the genetic heritage of specific populations, including Ashkenazi Jews. So it's saying, you know, as research develops, as the science continues, as more studies come out, as the technology improves, we're going to learn more and more about Ashkenazi DNA and DNA in general and genetics. So this is an ongoing process. And anyway, I'm, I'm sold on um, ChatGPT. I think it's absolutely amazing. And again, we have to be cautious about how it's used, but it, it's an absolute game changer. And um, thank you for watching.